So it's not a matter of walking in and meeting an individual and say, what do you want to do? Uh, I think the more important question is, what have you seen in how other people work? What about your family members? What do they do? Uh, what do your friends from school, what do their parents do? Or do your friends at school have jobs? What do you think of those? Um, might we go visit some of these people that you know in order for you to get an idea of how they spend their time? Because one of the things we can be pretty sure about is if you ask someone, tell me about your work, they're going to tell you. Uh, because all of us like to talk about our work. Uh, so one way to get a better informed choice is to understand what the options are. Because I think the quick path to asking what do you want to do um, misunderstands choice. Because the notion of choice is to indicate a preference. The only way you get a preference is to understand there are alternatives. The only way you understand alternatives is to have experienced them. The only way to experience them is someone says it's okay to look around. So first, there's got to be permission to look, to understand, to develop preference in order to make a choice. Well, I think when, when people aren't trained in this work in customized employment and related topics, um, I think one of the first things that happen is uh, uh, such agencies or individuals are very uncomfortable with people with very significant disability. So the first casualty is people that have that learn very differently or have a label of uh, significant or very significant disability. First casualty is they probably won't get an, an opportunity. Uh, number two, um, you're relying more on chance. It's like, okay, I've met this individual. They sort of said they were interested in retail. Here's a retail job. Let's give it a go um, without doing a good analysis, without understanding the culture of the workplace. Um, if you don't get the context right and understand the individual's abilities and interests, transportation needs, all these things, the likelihood of failure is much higher. Um, and if we find ourselves in circumstances where um, people with the most significant disabilities um, can't have access because we don't have a talent pool to address it, uh, or uh, we don't have the um, understanding of the analysis needed of a workplace and how that fits with an individual, it's more likely to fail. And when we see failures like that, uh, there's another casualty. The idea becomes criticized. The victim is customized employment, when in fact, it's implementation that was failed. So but if we lose that connection, it's like, wait a minute, implemented properly, we have a different outcome.